Hello, I am Munir Hawk and welcome to my Android app development tutorial. Today our topic is adding data binding on view model and live data. Data binding is an exciting feature to save us from writing a lot of boilerplate codes to update UI data from fragment or activity. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the full potential of data binding by connecting it with live data and view model bypassing our fragment and making our code linear. In our project, we have views inside our XML file. We also have our fragment to access the views. And finally, we have the view model along with the live data where all those UI data reside. So far in our project, uh, if any data is changed inside view model, we immediately inform our fragment using live data. Then the fragment access the views in the XML file and update the UI. By the way, same thing happens on other direction as well. Uh, any changes in UI data will pass to view model using the fragment. In both cases, uh, this requires writing a lot, lot of boilerplate codes and sometimes it becomes cumbersome. And to solve this problem, we have data binding. Using the feature of data binding, uh, views can directly communicate with uh, communicate and update its data with view model and live data. Data binding connects two different layers, namely XML layout and view model without using the fragment. By the way, before jumping into code, if you don't know what data binding is, I will request you to see my other videos in my channel. Uh, I have used data binding a lot of time in my tutorials. I strongly recommend this particular video if you want to learn more about data binding. Please get the link from the video description. Okay, let's jump into code and add data binding into our project. So this is our code and we will go to the fragment puzzle first and here just underneath the layout we will uh, create a XML uh, so data so it is data and we'll create another node named variable and inside the variable we will give a name and we will create the name as puzzle model and we want to take data from uh, the view model our puzzle view model okay so we uh, this type will be puzzle view model in our case so it will be puzzle view model okay so what we want to do we want to use data binding instead of uh, writing date writing boilerplate course inside our fragment so this is our uh, these three there are three or four um, uh, live data object here the first is word and inside the word we are changing the puzzle view model word dot value and dot question gap one and question gap two these three, two things are here if we see it, this is question gap one and this is question gap two and go back here and also we have a score and current time so let's do it so first of all we need to we need to uh, we need to bind this uh, bind this object to our puzzle view model so we go back to our fragment puzzle and by the way make sure that you have written written the binding dot life cycle owner equals this this means that the life cycle owner is this fragment and if you don't write this line our data binding a uh, live data um, data binding data binding on live data will not work okay so we write binding dot puzzle model equals our puzzle view model this line okay puzzle view model so binding this object to puzzle view model okay and we go back to our uh, fragment puzzle and write answer and it will be we will create another uh, uh, okay we'll dot text we will create data binding here we need to add uh, at the data operator and we'll create puzzle view model puzzle view model is 
our newly created object newly created uh, data uh, data type variable so puzzle view model dot word dot question gap one so we are referring to the word so this word is this word that uh, this is the a live data and word is type of puzzle view uh, word puzzle data and this is question gap one and this is the question gap two and correct answer so we are referring to question gap one so this all about and we will do the same thing we'll just copy paste things to to answer uh, to this answer or to this uh, text uh, text view so it will be here and this time it will be question gap 2 well we have another thing this is the this is our score here the score uh, gets updated so we go here and the text will be puzzle model dot score okay but if we uh, write puzzle model dot score it will definitely give us an error because we know the score is uh, the score is integer and in our text view all uh, we only uh, can uh, we only can show the string so uh, we need to make it to a string in order to do that we have uh, a string dot value of function so we will use it so the string dot value of and inside this bracket we will simply copy paste here okay now we have uh, applied um, data binding inside for um, for our answer for our for our uh, answer question gap one and answer question gap two and we also have used our uh, inside our score so so score will be scored here is the score so we go back to our fragment puzzle and simply as we have used uh, data binding we do not need to write this uh, long code and cumbersome code because uh, data binding do all these things uh, for us so we will delete this line the we are observing as we are observing the word the word is used in data binding we just delete this line and also the score uh, the score uh, is using the data binding we also do not need this line and do we simply run our app checking our app we press play and we can see our uh, our word is working our data our score is updating and our word is updating so our data binding works so data bind uh, relieves us from write a lot of boilerplate code and it really helps and make our code leaner that uh, we uh, need to write a lot of observer code um, inside our fragment earlier and data binding uh, helps us to uh, helps us to r update data from view module directly from views well uh, being said that what happened to our current time because current time also uh, getting updated uh, from our view model uh, through the live data why haven't we used uh, data binding on our um, current time well this is a problem because uh, our, here the data binding uh, sorry the, here the live data returns as data date utils format elapsed time so it is not a uh, string uh, that's why uh, converting it to uh, a string is a little tough it is not we cannot simply use a string dot value of so we will we need to use trans, trans, live data transformation map and we will um, show it in our next tutorial so so please 
see the next tutorial another thing we can use uh, we go to our button skip and set on click listener and inside, inside it the on set on click listener we can see it is calling uh, puzzle view mode on skip and this is the this is the method it is calling so we can do one thing we go back to our fragment puzzle and we make it we make it a little bigger and the on skip method we can write the another properties like on click so on click and we make it a right function and it will call puzzle okay puzzle model oh oh, oh. oh so we we on click and it will be okay and here we will directly call from call this on skip call this uh, on skip method directly from our views so how can i do this do this so create the puzzle model dot on skip and as we have used the direct uh, access to our on skip we can we just simply uh, delete this line from here because this uh, on skip method will directly be uh, directly will be invoked from our views so we delete this line and run our app again now from our app if we start play and press on click uh, skip sorry skip button uh, the skip button get uh, invoked directly from our uh, views and without using only any set on click listener or so what so this is our app uh, this is all about our tutorial and in this tutorial we have learned uh, how to use data binding uh, using on top of live data and view model and we have used a um, couple of examples here so if you like this video please press the like button and uh, if you not subscribe please subscribe and uh, if you have any question or suggestion please let me know in the comment box so signing off today thank you